Okay. Okay, this is the other important mark. I have it at an inch and three quarter. And what we do is this is the other end. This is the small loop end of the string. And at one and three quarter, we're going to put a mark with the magic marker. Don't worry about marking up the string. This is all going to be hidden by serving. Mark it up good. And what we're going to do is loosen this up. And we're going to turn the string. We're going to turn this string like this here. And we're going to snug this up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get this serving and we're going to mark it between the two marks that we made with the, um, with the magic marker. Okay, here's the um, first mark that's closest to the right. We're going to start here. I got the tag. We're going to roll it over a few times to start it. Kind of pull it over and it lays next to the strings. See, pull it all the ways next to the strings. Then we're going to roll it up. And then we're going to start spinning it a little bit. And once we get down to the other uh, side, I'll show you what we do from there. Okay, after you get about an inch or more, you uh, use your scissors to cut that tag end off that you started with. And then I'll continue down to the other. Okay, now that we have the serving between our two marks, um, we're going to loosen up the jig and turn it. So this will form a, a loop end for the small end. Now, when you come down to the end, don't be surprised if you're a little short or a little long when you fold it. You may have to unwind it some, add a few uh, loops into it to get it even. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Here we go. We'll loosen it up. Loosen this. And as we turn it, I'm going to put a little tension on the jig. See? Okay. And then we're going to snug it up a little bit. See? So now we, we got that even. So that's good, but sometimes a little shorter or longer, you may have to compensate. And what we're going to do is just leave that like that for now and come down. We're going to get this separator again and slide it down. Take these strings out. We don't need them anymore. They're done with them. Separators. Of course, taking the string off is going to be a difficult chore for me, right? Okay, we slide it down. And then here's where we use our other mark, our six inch mark, to see where we're going to go with the serving, okay? So, here we go. back a little bit more and we're going to see what we got here okay six inches is here we're going to start here and then we're going to come back Okay, once again we're going to snug this up and we're going to start spinning it and we'll start the video when I get to the end. Okay, now that the serving is down to the end where the loop serving started, we're going to finish up and we're going to make sure that it don't wind over in the back direction. Two, three. Okay. Usually 10 is good, 9 or 10, we'll pull it back, we're going to cut it, and 
And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to come under. All right. And then we're going to wrap this around. And you don't have to count. You're just going to wrap it around. Okay, now we're going to pull this tag tight. We're going to get the pliers just to make sure that it's all seated properly. And we're going to cut it off with about an inch, a little less maybe even. We're going to turn it. We're going to melt this down to a button. And once it gets down to the end, we smash it, and that's it. Perfect loop. Then if you're, uh, what we're going to do next is, if you are got a right-handed shooter you're making a string for, we're going to twist the string clockwise. If it's a lefty, you're going to go counterclockwise. And then once we get it the right height, the right length rather, then we're going to use some wax and set the string. Okay, now that we have the string twisted to 61 inches is what we need. I'm going to put some wax on it, generous supply of wax, I'm going to use a paper towel, sometimes the colors blend a little bit, maybe a little duller than uh, you started out with, but, and friction, we use friction to melt the wax in and set the string strands together. We do this before we put a serving on, and anytime we're serving these strings on this jig or putting the center serving, I make sure it's nice and tight, the string is under pressure. It's not loose and sloppy or else you'll have a hard time putting the serving on. Okay, we're done with this part and next we're going to uh, put a serving on. Okay, the next step is to put a serving on. I really prefer to put a serving on while it's on the bow with the brace height set. So here's one of my bows just to show you. Once I have the brace height set and I put the bow square on, I like to start on the top of the bow square. And once, once I'm done on top of the bow square, you know, it's all preference, you know, it really don't matter, but I like to go down about six inches, could be a little more, from the top to the bottom of the serving. So since I don't have the bow with this, I will take an existing string I have, and I know where it is, and I'll lay it next to that, and we'll mark it, and then I'll serve the string. Okay, now that we have um, marked from an existing uh, string I had where the serving will go, this string twists this way. And that's the same way we want to go with your serving. You want to twist it in the same direction. And I'm going to roll it up a little bit. And like I, same as OVs, we're going to twist about an inch of this before we cut the tail off. Now something I want to show you is that this part here that I served with the tail on, we're going to try to not fit. And the knock fit is good with the tail on. So what I'm going to do is continue to serve it with the tail on because it's a better fit with the tail. It's like padded all the way down to the end. And then I'll show you how to end it when we're done. Okay, now that we have the serving down about six inches, I'm going to pull it off. I'm going to cut it. And we're going to start looping again. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to come underneath, going to hold it, and then what we're going to do is just wrap it around. All right, just so you know, this is 0.19 halo, 
and this is a 22 strand um, BCYX string for a modern recurve because the BCYX does not really stretch. Um, the, very expensive, $52 a roll for the uh, BCYX. The halo serving is expensive. You could try with different uh, servings, sizes and thicknesses, 0.21, whatever you'd like to try. It happens to be I have a bunch of these 0.19 servings and they work out well. Sometimes I serve them with this tag from the beginning underneath to give it a little more thickness for the knock. Sometimes I don't. Depends on the combination and string. All right, we're finished here. We're going to get this uh, plier uh, or not and just give it a little tug. It's underneath the paper. Okay. Give it a little tug. And then we're going to cut off an inch or a little less. And we're going to melt it down so we have a nice button. And we got a nice little melted button and it won't pull through. See? Very nice. And and we're done. This is we're done making the string. And um, there's other ways to do it. This is just the way I do it. You're welcome to do anything you want. This is just how I've been making them for years now. So that's it.